Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. This is on the frequently asked questions that I've been getting about how to work with the template that I threw up the other day. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, links below if this is the first visit, uh, video you're coming to. But uh, I put up an audio react uh, template for making YouTube videos that uses the audio spectrum and um, whatnot. But I wanted to show you how you would go about making um, your own original with the template. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new version using the template. I went ahead and downloaded it from the website just like you would and when I open up After Effects this is the sign I get. It says After Effects warning, two files are missing and uh, you hit OK. Now in actuality there are three files missing. The music's missing too but for some reason After Effects doesn't tell me about that but uh, it doesn't really matter. So um, if you open it up and you see these bars and stuff like that just don't worry about it. There's a couple of things you're going to need and that is a background image and album artwork. So um, I already have those so what I'm going to do is go ahead and import those into my uh, the new project here and I've got new files I've got a new track, uh, the album artwork and the background that I made. And I'm going to hit o select all and hit o open and now that those have come in that's great. So um, first thing I'm going to do into is, is song and I can get rid of the loop promo here because it's not in the file and uh, we're not going to be using it. So I'm going to hit delete. It's going to make sure I really want to do that. I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to drag in the new music. So this is kind of the first thing we need to do. And um, if you come over into the project window here and you click on it and you check out the info here, it says the new project is 4.43.22. So this is the whole track. So I need to change the, the length of each project. I've got two projects that I need to change the length of, the song and the main comp. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click, composition settings, and I come in and it tells me over here exactly how many minutes it is. It's 4 minutes, 43 seconds, 22 frames. So I'm going to come in here to the composition settings, the duration, 4 minutes, 22 seconds, and 22 frames. Oh, wait, 43 seconds. My bad. Almost, almost messed that up. And 22 frames. Now you can make it a little bit longer or shorter depending on what you want to do, but I'm just going to make it exactly uh, the same length. And now that I've done that, I'm going to take my little zoom zoom bar here and I'm going to zoom all the way out and if you notice the track goes all the way over but nothing else does so what I need to do is select this hold down shift to select everything and then drag that over to the end and now uh, everything is running uh, the second question that I had was about the clock and they're like how do um, the person asked how do I extend the clock length and the cool thing about the script that I put into this template is you don't have to do anything you just have to extend the composition settings and the clock will run all the way to the end so if I pull it over here you can see that the clock is still running and it will go all the way to the end so that's sweet now I'm gonna go ahead and um, rename the track now Unfortunately, when in my haste of making the template and the tutorial and stuff like that, I did not left center these or left align uh, these three um, things here. So when I redo or I rename the track, the artist, and the label, it's going to be centered. And you can see on the paragraph here, it's centered. So I guess the first thing you want to do is hit uh, left align and then hold down shift and bring it over that way it doesn't go up and down on the y axis but just on the x axis and uh do that for all three of those and i apologize that's just that's just sloppy art right there sloppy template if you will um so now that i've done that these are all good to go and now when i come in and label it and actually on a side note it's best to save this now go ahead and just save this that way um, as your new template and that way as you're making your next template you won't have to come in and do that even though it's not a lot um, it can get annoying especially if you're making a lot of videos but now that that's done let's go ahead and rename this and you can either come in here with the text tool and select, select in here or what you can do is just double click and it will highlight and we're gonna call this wicked because that's my track that's coming out featuring AK Siddiqui glitch hop with vocals and um, I'm gonna go ahead and 
it's too big right now for the uh, the template so I'm gonna hit size and I'm just gonna bring the size down until I can see uh, the whole thing oops I don't want to do that oops file and just make sure you delete that if you did it too so there you go that's cool um, artist name is Joshua Casper obviously and uh, Alan Walls collaborated with me on this uh, He's going to be making some, some waves out there in the uh, EDM world. So scale again. And I'm going to bring it down so we can see it. Ah, I did it again, didn't I? Oh my gosh. Sorry, I've had a couple of drinks today. I'm going to be uh, forth, forthright with you. So anyway, uh, that looks pretty good. And the next thing I'm going to do is label name. And it's on the Pudi Cub Lec... It's on the Pudi Club Records, and it will be out on the 20, whoop, Records, Joshua, okay. And it will be out on the uh, 27th of May, 2013. So anyway, that looks pretty good. Um, the next thing I want to do is change the box on the outline here, and I'm just going to make it black by not double-clicking, but... Um, effects control. I got a ramp on there right now and the the easiest way to do it is just to bring down the uh the highlight to black as well. So that looks pretty sweet. Um the next thing is the album artwork and I've already imported the new one. So if I go ahead and find it here, it's right here. And the cool thing is if you select the old album artwork and then you select the new one, drag and hold down alt, it will replace the file so you don't have to deleted or anything like that. It's a little too big. I'm going to hit size. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And that looks pretty pretty lined up already. So let's go ahead into the main cop. That's all we want to do with uh, this for right now. And then we're going to go into the main composition. So that looks pretty nice, except for that background. But again, select the background and take the new background, hold down Alt, and do this. And if you see that it's messed it up, it's off centered and it's warped it, so that's not going to work for that one because the dimensions are different between the new background and the old background. So, um, album artwork is generally going to be okay because usually your album artwork is going to be a square. It's going to be 500 by 500, 1000 by 1000, but your background might be a different dimension, so it's best just to delete it and then bring in your new background and just drop it on the back there and I'm gonna go ahead and fit it and that looks pretty cool uh, we have to make it a 3d layer so we can get the light going and if we come up to the light uh, I'm gonna zoom it out there we go I'm gonna zoom it out because I want to get the Pudi Cub uh, logo going and I think that looks pretty cool we're on full. I'm going to go down to half just to, so we can keep the rendering going quickly. So that's what it looks like right now. Um, it's in the center, but it's um, the you can't really notice the audio spectrum lines. So the next thing we want to do is come into the audio spectrum and um, effects control. We're going to close this. We're going to come to this ramp. And what I want to do is I'm going to turn them blue because there's these blue balls inside of that cage. And I'm going to come in and just... Uh, yeah, make it bright like that. And I'm going to leave the, the shadow black. And uh, I'm going to open this up again, and I'm going to copy this color. Control-C to copy that color. Hit OK. And uh, the start color is blue. The end color is black. And for this one, we want the end color to be the blue and the start color to be the black. And that will kind of make this cool. So the, the top is a little bit brighter than the bottom. But if we wanted to switch that, we could easily make this the blue color. And then make this the black. And there we go. That looks pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, also, I did not switch the composition length for the main comp, so right now it's only going to go up to a minute and 15 and then stop, but that's not the length of the track, remember. The length of the track is, uh, let's find it, 4.43.22, so I have to change the 
composition length one more time. And I'm going to come in 4, 43, 22. Hit OK. So there you go. And there you go. That's um, all you really need to do is change the color of the audio spectrum, change the title. Um, I think it's kind of a little too dark out here. Let's put it in full. Yeah, it's a little too dark, so I'd go back in and I'd change um, the effect. I'd change the ramp here, uh, and I'd take the, the dark end here. Oops. I'd select it so I can see this little pointer. And we're affecting the Pootie Club Records part right now. And I just pull that a little bit more so uh, it's less of an effect. And then what I would do is hit Control C when I highlighted the ramp, and I'd just come in and click this, Control V, and it would change all of the ramps on all of those for me fairly quickly. And I want to do the clock too. And then if I come back into the main comp, it looks a little bit better. 100%. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And again, uh, I'm not the design guy. I just wanted to show you how to use the uh, the the template, how you might go about it. I don't like the size of this, and it's kind of difficult to see. So if I turn this on, I can see how big the black box is behind, and um, I could come in and hit S again and kind of scale it up a little bit, maybe nine. That looks a little better. Yeah, that's much better and I'm still not feeling the ramp and I apologize about this but um, there you go and again it's just a subtle effect but I think it makes such a big difference of just having that plain block and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing all the way through label track name I'm just copy and pasting that ramp effect on on all each of those, and then if I come in, yeah, that looks much better. So there you go. That's uh, that's how you would edit the um, the template there. And if I fit it up, that's what it looks like. So that looks pretty cool. Anyway, um, I hope that helps. I hope that answers some questions. But obviously, if you have any more questions about the template or anything else, go ahead and hit me up on Facebook or here on YouTube, and um, I'll see if I can't get you sorted out. We'll talk to you later.